Welcome back, friends, to another episode of PMAC Movies Weekly Hall Video here on February 14th, 2020. Are you ready for some PMAC Movies? Um, I got a little coffee here. I'm back to drinking coffee sometimes. Just got out of work. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. And it is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you. To you fellas and ladies and whoever's watching this PMAC Movies video. I hope you enjoy the day. Um, me and Charmaine are going out to eat here soon. Shortly in uh, a little bit over an hour. And I'm going to be all hyped up on coffee. Actually, this is pretty good. Um, <clears throat> I got a lot. I got a lot to show off this time. Holy. I've been hoarding. I got some orders out. You can look forward to some some entertaining weeks of PMAC Movies haul videos, and maybe even a reviews video because I've been watching a bunch of crap. I've been thinking about doing a reviews video, and then eh, I got I need to watch something else. So it's like, do I keep watching stuff? Do I do a reviews video? Tough decisions. Um, I actually snagged up a few more today. The Goodwill near work has been having a lot of stuff. We're going to take a look at that. I got some Target pre-orders. Um... And I got some packages, some packages, right here today. I haven't even opened them yet. Amazon. Amazon. These were from the same order. For some reason, they shipped one item separate. Um, and then, Scream Factory. They started having a sale. What was that? Monday. And I remember because I was at a meeting, and the sale... I just realized that the sale went live. So I was at the meeting, and, you know, it's okay to have your phone out a little bit at the meeting, but I'm like, stuff will sell out, and there, there was actually good deals on the Screen Factory website, so I'm like at the meeting with my phone sitting there, and um, I'm probably going to get in trouble, but uh, I think I ended up placing the order after the meeting, because I didn't really want to overdo it. And I wanted to make sure that I got the ones that I wanted and didn't get a bunch of ones that I didn't really want. So let's take a look at this Scream Factory one first. When I open these boxes, it's it's it could be entertaining because it's like you always end up with damaged shit when you order stuff online now. You always end up with damage. So I don't think these Scream Factory ones are going to have slip covers, but you end up with like broken cases and messed up artwork and messed up slip covers. And uh, there's some new stuff in the Amazon one, so I'm hoping that they have slip covers. I'm not a crazy slip cover bastard who freaks out um, like a crazy son of a bitch over slip covers. But when you're buying like pretty new movies and you go to the store and they all got slip covers, you kind of hope that you get a slip cover. If it's like a Black Friday one, it's you know. But so I'm hoping for some slip covers on the Amazon ones. Scream Factory used a box that is way too big. There's only, I think there's only like five, maybe six in here. Um, let's take a look. So I, I found out about the Scream Factory sale, which is still going, but like a lot of stuff sold out. There were some pretty good deals, um, some that weren't that great of a deal. Um, but there was one in particular, and they don't charge tax, at least in this state, which is like the only, I don't know how they can get away with not charging tax this day and age. This coffee's pretty good. Um... So let's take a look. That helps, though. It helps that they don't charge tax. Because actually, there was, one, there was one of these that was a little bit pricier. And I had seen it cheaper before, and I passed on it. I wish I had gotten it. And now, you know, the tax makes it so it's still, you know, close enough. And it's one that I want. But they wrap it up pretty good here. They wrapped it up nicely. They, they, this is smart. You just wrap it in paper. Why couldn't Amazon do that? Is that that hard to wrap it in a little paper? Amazon's a bunch of amateurs. Amazon doesn't care they make so much money. Um, so we got this Shout Factory paper. Pretty thick kind of paper there. Let's go through these one by one. I'll tell you what I got, why I got it. How do you get in there? Um, first up, this is the one that was pricey, and um, I I think Hamilton Book had this for about 13 bucks, 
and I passed on it, and I, you know, I kind of considered should I have gotten that, and it, it went up for sixteen bucks, and that is, you know, cheap enough, no tax, so um, it's it's pretty close in price. It is Brain Dead here, starring um, Bill Pullman and Bill Paxton. I like both of those guys. The the critic reviews I think for this were really bad, but I've read like a fair amount of good stuff from. Um, you know, just like casual reviewers, you know, you know, regular viewers, message boards, things like that. So I was interested in enough to get it from 1989, Brain Dead. The Bills. The Bills are in this. The Bill Pees. Up next. This is one I really, I didn't know anything about it, but it was only six bucks. I looked into it a lot. I found out it's a prison movie. Sounds like it's kind of a trashy prison movie, but I read enough good stuff about it. I was like, six bucks? I might as well get it. And this this sold out pretty quick. It is Caged Fury here on Blu-ray. Pray you don't get locked up in Honeywell State Prison. Um, Eric Estrada in Caged Fury. It's 95 minutes from 1990. Um, it's an MGM movie. There's some butts on the cover. Um, but it, it, it sounded like kind of a fun um, 80s, 90s movie. It might not be up my alley, but uh, at that price, you can't go wrong. You kind of can. You could weigh six bucks. When people say you can't go wrong, it's not really true. You could go wrong. Even if you're getting a movie at Dollar Tree, if it's a big pile of poop, you wasted a buck. Anyway, um... This is from a series of movies that I don't think are really that great of movies, but I do have the first one on Blu-ray. I don't have the Scream Factory Collector's Edition. I don't I, I don't care to have the Scream Factory Collector's Edition of the first one. I didn't think it was that great. I thought it was okay. But I did end up getting Species 2 because I would like to get like the, the whole kind of series of these. I think I might have some of them on DVD. I don't know that I have this one. And this was only $10, which I think was a pretty good price for it. It's from 1998, 93 minutes. Um, Michael Madsen, Natasha Hendridge, uh, and then some other people. James Cromwell's in it. So, yeah, I don't, I don't expect this to be a very good movie, but uh, I thought that was a good price for, for a, uh, a good edition of it. So I snagged up Species 2. You know, it's the type of movie, like, I like sci-fi, sci-fi horrors, pretty good stuff, so. What is this? Oh, yeah, this is actually one that I got, and then I found the DVD of it the same day. So I'm not sure if I should have gotten this or not, but um, it looks like it might actually be pretty good. It is The Crush here on Blu-ray. This is Alicia Silverstone's in this. Oh, yeah, Alicia, back when she was attractive. Um, Carrie Elwes, or however you say his name, uh, from The Princess Bride and Saw. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know a ton about this. I just remember reading, like, seeing it and, like, reading that it was decent. It's from 1993. It looks like it's 89 minutes. There's a little Made in Mexico thing over it, so I can't really, uh, read it. But I, I you know, I think it's kind of like a thriller type of thing. I tend to like these. They're not... They're not like anything great, but they're fun. Uh, he thought it was just a crush. He was dead wrong. The crush. This was probably the main one that I wanted. Um, this this is the only one that isn't in like the nice wrapped up plastic. This is in like the re-wrapped kind of stuff, but it looks like it's in good shape. I do have the DVD of this. And this was another one that was on Hamilton Book, and it was, um, I think it was 10 bucks on Hamilton Book. I didn't get it. And then I was kind of kicking myself months later, like, I should have just gotten that for 10 bucks. So it was 10 bucks again. And PMAC ain't missing out twice, baby. It is Virus here. Jamie Lee Curtis, um, William Baldwin, and Donald Sutherland. Donald Sutherland's in it. Virus. I'm glad I got it. Donald Sutherland. But yeah, the, I got the DVD, but I don't think the picture quality is that great and stuff. So I wanted, you know, for a reasonable price, I was going to get the um, the Blu-ray, and I got it for a reasonable price. So I'm happy to get this. Let's take a look and make sure everything's in order. Everything's in order here. We got 
coronavirus. It's gonna kill everybody. Fear propaganda. These fear propaganda movies, it's still fun. As long as you know it's all nonsense. Um, go to the coffee, PMAC. Go to the coffee. It's, it's pretty good. Let's be honest here, it's pretty good. So this Amazon thing, I was combining deals. I was combining deals. You gotta be smart. You gotta be smart and combine deals. Um, when you don't got it out of money. And so the deal was there's a buy two, get one at Target. Amazon price matches some things, buy two, get one. And then I had this Discover card thing where if I use some of my Discover card rewards and spent $50, I, you, could only, you could use like a penny of Discover card rewards. You get 10 bucks off your $50 order. And I was able to use that on two Amazon accounts. So here's the order I made for the first one. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what these ended up being. It was a pretty good deal, though. It was the buy two, get one. And I think I think this order was like 70 bucks or something, or 60, 70 bucks. And then I got the 10 bucks off on top of the, the buy two, get one. So it was a pretty... It was a pretty good thing there, combining deals. So I actually got some newer movies, which I don't do, and, and some uh, a TV season here. This one, I haven't seen this one cheap, and I do have the first season of it, which is pretty decent. This was like 19 bucks, and then it was the buy two, get one, and everything. So it's Into the Badlands, the complete second season. This is seven hours and eight minutes from 2017. Charmaine really enjoyed the first season of this. I think she might have watched the second season also on Netflix or something. And I did want to eventually get this. So it ended up being around uh, 10 bucks after the discounts, which was a, uh, a beer me. And then, and then we got this other box here. Let's dig into this thing. Let's dig into this box. It's a box full of trash. Oh my God. They put they put a bubble thing in it. Amazon, you've gone you've gone above and beyond. Look at this. They put bubbles. Oh my god. Amazon, what are you what is Amazon what is what are they what are they thinking? They wanted me to get items that weren't all dented up and damaged. I need coffee. In the name of Amazon. Um, what, what are they doing? I can't believe it. Anyway, and I got a slipcover. I, I heard this is the best out of this little trilogy of movies, and I'm not a huge fan of these, but it was 15 bucks. Buy two, get one, plus that other thing. It ends up being less than $10 for a fun action movie. Angel Has Fallen, starring Gerard Butler. Morgan Freeman, Jada Pinkett Smith, Nick Nolte, Danny Houston. Is there anybody who isn't in this movie? Um, whoa, Nick Nolte. Nice beard there, man. They should have made him the star of the movie. Why are they making Gerard Butler the star of the movie when you could make that dude the star of the movie? Who wouldn't watch it if Santa Claus, Nick Nolte Santa Claus, was the star of the movie? I would, I would watch it. Angel has fallen. Slippy! Then, ooh, ooh, I have watched most of this. It is Terminator, Dark Fate. I actually, I know there's mixed stuff on it. I enjoyed it. I'm probably going to go back through and watch the, maybe I won't go back through and watch the whole thing. I, I need to finish it. I, I enjoyed it, but it was we were watching it late and I fell asleep. Um, Terminator, Dark Fate. It was about 20 bucks before the deals. So that brings it way, way down to uh, a very reasonable price and then I was excited to get this one for a good price too. Mid Somar from the director of Hereditary, Ali Aster there, which Hereditary was kind of a I don't think it really clicked for me, but it was interesting. The horror genre has found a new master in filmmaker Ari Aster. That's uh Whitney Siebold from IGN. What the hell does she know? I actually heard um, not that great things about this, but it's one that um, I want to see it. I might actually watch it tomorrow. An expert piece of daylit terror. I think I heard it compared to like the Wicker Man. 
So uh, I'm interested in checking that out. And it was 15 bucks before the before the discount. So that was a beer me. Um, and I beard myself. I'm happy with the slip covers I've gotten for these. Um, up next, I got the Rocketeer, the 20th anniversary edition. This looks like a fun one. I feel like maybe I watched this when I was younger. I'm not sure. What year did this come out? Um, 2011 Disney. That would be, that's probably the year the Blu-ray was put out. Joe Johnston directed it. Um, Timothy Dalton's in it. Jennifer Connelly? Jennifer's in this. I didn't even know that before I bought it. Hey, she's even on the cover. I like Timothy Dalton, too. He's good. And then um, the star there, Billy Campbell. I mean, Jennifer Connelly and Timothy Dalton, definitely bigger stars than, than Billy. But Billy's not bad. And then I even got a slippy for this new Dumbo movie, which I've I've only seen small parts of this. Um, a Tim Burton movie starring Colin Farrell, Michael Keaton, Danny DeVito, Eva Green, oh yeah, and Alan Arkin. And they even gave me a nice slippy. This was um, 18, I think, with the discounts. And the uh, digital code. I mean, 18 plus, and then the discount. So it ends up being around like 10 bucks or whatever, which I thought was a, a bargoon for Dumbo. Some people might even call PMAC movies Dumbo. Hey. Um, and then we go to the coffee first. So I'm, I'm happy with how those came. I'm, I'm You didn't even get to see PMAC... I'm going to have to pretend I got a beaten up slip cover so you can see me freak out. Oh my God, what the? Amazon, you pieces of trash. Every time, every time I order anything, I get this crap. That's my pretend um, slip cover thing. But I can't, I can't even do that this time because everything came damn near perfect. Actually, if I opened them all up, I'd probably find like cracked discs and stuff. PMAC's very negative about ordering stuff and receiving damaged product because it happens almost every time. And I'm even complaining about it when I got all perfect stuff. That's the trick to say I'm going to be bitching about stuff and then it doesn't happen. Um, let's take a look. Goodwill was good to me this week. Um, we got some more Amazon stuff actually from that buy two, get one that I forgot about. Um, let's take a look at those. Actually, I could do a little rant on that one. And then I got those. Okay, let's let's take a look. I got um, I got like a couple of these buy two, get one things. Um, these were together. So there's a few 750 ones I, I got. Dinosaur here, a Disney movie I didn't have, so it ends up being like five. I do already have Terminator 2 Judgment Day, um, but I pretty much got, you know, the digital code itself is worth around that much so I went ahead and got that I couldn't find anything else at the 750 price point and then there's one that was like back ordered that I got I haven't gotten that yet so I'll show that when I get it the, the other 750 one these ones were all 9 uh, 12 10 9 I think um, first Green Book starring Viggo Mortensen and my buddy Josh um, my buddy Josh um, my buddy Craig said uh, this was kind of a propaganda movie, but I wanted it because Vigo. Vigo is one of my favorites, um, obviously from Lord of the Rings. He's great, and uh, I wanted to get it. So it was, it was 12 by 2 get one. So it wasn't like super cheap, but it was pretty decent. And then I've heard pretty good things about this mid-90s movie, which this one, did. I did get damaged. It's got a big dent there. You can see it. So I'm... I don't actually. There's a big line there too. There's a big line through there, and then a dent. So I can't really fault Amazon too much for that. Lionsgate uses the cheapest pieces of shit cases in the whole wide world. In the whole wide world. Um, and then I I got Halloween, the new Halloween, which I actually didn't like that much, but uh, it was a it was a pretty good price here. You know, it ended up being pretty cheap. Um, you know, less than eight bucks or whatever I paid, which I, I thought was around like what it, a Black Friday type of deals. And um, this is an A24 one. So those ones usually don't get much below seven, eight bucks too. So I thought those were decent deals, not 
unbelievable deals, but decent. Pretty decent. Okay. I got my pre-orders for a movie that I do already have on Blu-ray. I decided to go ahead and pre-order the, um, the Scream Factory one. Um, I did, I, I believe I did enjoy this movie when I got it. This has a theatrical and uncut edition. It is My Bloody Valentine. Um, so this ended up being about 20 bucks after everything. Maybe a little bit less, probably between 19 and 20 after tax and everything with the buy two, get one from Target. Not during this buy two, get one, which everything isn't included this one, but the previous one, it had like damn near everything included. The slip cover isn't perfect, but it's pretty decent. You can see that corner got it a little bit, and then there's there's that. You know, Target sends these and and these tight cardboard mailer things, and it's just it's trash. But at the same time, when I ordered it, I knew that was going to be the case. So um, I can throw a fit, and I pro let, actually I could. I've already thrown a fit in this video, so do I really need to throw another one? I only have so much energy. Um, just pretend I threw a fit. Anyway, we have Swamp Thing here on Blu-ray. Swamp Thing pre-order. Um, this ended up being like 18 bucks after tax and everything, so it wasn't like the greatest deal. This is going to be cheaper than that. Um, but, you know, I felt like splurging. I snagged it. 18 bucks with the digital code. I heard it's, you know, fairly mediocre, and um, so I snagged that one anyway. Is the rest of this? Ooh, I almost knocked over my coffee. I have it in this mug because if I had it in just a regular mug and I spilt it, it would go all over my movies, and then you'd really see a little bitch tantrum. Oh, yeah. Um... Is this all Goodwill stuff? Man, I hoarded up from Goodwills this week. Holy shnikes. This is all Goodwill. This is... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No! Don't you lie to me, PMAC movies. Those weren't from Goodwill. Um, this guy's got mental problems. Anyway, we got... These were buy one, get one on the Sony sta save station... I don't know if Best Buy even has a save station anymore, if it's called save station, but like they have their Sony display. And uh, these were basically two for 15 But I had a $10 um, certificate, a couple $5 certificates that were going to expire fairly soon. These were a couple movies that um, I was planning on getting once they dropped to the right price. I ended up getting both of them for $5 after that certificate. We got A Dog's Way Home cute. I actually wouldn't mind getting a dog, but it would be, you know, I would feel bad for the dog because when me and Charmaine are working, like, who's going to take care of the, of the pooch? And then a movie that I actually, I watched this one and I thought it was okay, but it was, it was really like pretty mediocre. Still at that price, I'm going to get it. Brightburn, uh, Brightburn with Elizabeth Banks, David Denman from The Office. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. It just didn't seem like it did a whole lot. Um, it, it was okay though. It was, it was okay. Nothing great, but gotta own it. You gotta. Let's take a look at the Goodwill stuff. Holy horde. I went, I'm, go, I'm, excuse me. It's the coffee. I'm going to Goodwill now. Like, I think I went four days this week because every day they're putting out new stuff. I mean, that Goodwill gets in quite a bit of media and um they've now like over over overflown basically their their uh two displays and movies now they got a table out with movies too so just a ton of stuff let's take a look at what old pmac hoarded up on at the two dollar price point we have tom green and freddie got fingered I feel like maybe I bought this before but I don't I think I, I would always find copies of this that were beat up but uh, I definitely have fond memories of watching Tom Green when he was on MTV, the Tom Green show. He just acts like an idiot. Um, he just acts like an ass, so it's it's pretty funny, though. At least it was back then. I don't know if it would be anymore. This is apparently out of print. I'm glad I got this. It is Watcher 
In the Woods, the Anchor Bay edition. Um, so this was a pretty cool find, actually. Apparently, this is a better version than the version that Disney put out. And this is... Lionsgate could learn a lot from this case. This sucker's heavy duty. You could drive over this some bitch. And uh, hopefully the disc is good. It looks like it has a little bit of like a goldish tint to it, which I, I think used to be for double layer DVDs, but it looks like it's in great condition. It's got the DTS audio. It's got, it's got a booklet. Urgh. How do you get that booklet out? It's got this little thing. It's got this little card and then this booklet. The mystery disclosed. Huh, that's nice. Imagine if movies actually came with this. It's got like little things on the actors and stuff like that. It's pretty neat. It's pretty nice. This is a nice set for two bucks. I've never seen the movie, so that was a really good find. Hopefully it, it, it works. I think hopefully the gold disc is just because it's dual layer and not because it's um rot, but the, rotted. This is from 2002, this uh, DVD, the movie. I don't know when that the movie from. I never seen it before though. Um, this one I got it mostly because Jake Gyllenhaal's in it. I like Jake Gyllenhaal. It is Highway, also starring Jared Leto and Selma Blair. I don't know. It's probably not that great. The reviews sounded pretty poor. Um, it is like uh, anamorphic widescreen and stuff. So I figured for two bucks I'd go ahead and snag it. It's not one that I see out regularly, so you grab it. And then I got a magnet one called Donkey Punch. Interesting title. Probably a mediocre movie, again, based on the stuff I read about it. But again, one I don't really see. This this one actually, um, I didn't notice at the store, but this one actually has some light scratches on it. Looks It possibly was resurfaced. I, I don't think so, but it's got some light scratches. Um, maybe it was resurfaced. This is, this is one where if I... If I really got a good look at it, I probably wouldn't have gotten it, but two bucks, it'll play fine. Surprised that this one was there. This is a brand new DVD called Downtown Abbey with a nice slippy dippy. Um, really enjoy the show and the movie. $1.99 for some Downtown Abbey. Slippies in mint condition. Nice. And then I think this one might be fairly new also. What, what year is this one? 2017. So it's not that new. But it came with a digital code and stuff. It is The Wizard of Lies starring Bob De Niro, Michelle Pfeiffer. Um, what's that guy's name? I don't know. The guy who does all the Simpson voices I think is is that guy. But The Wizard of Lies. This, this one's cool because it comes with a digital HD code. So you know you get the the HBO ones on DVD, and you actually get an HD code with them, which is pretty cool, guys. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Where the heck am I going to put this? What is wrong with me buying all these movies? More for two bucks. I bought this one today. Pretty sure I don't have it already. Harlem Nights here for two bucks. You get into the lighting here, and you can see the scratches on. Holy sh nikes hot why why did i buy this did i even check this at the store my god it's all scratched up okay now i'm i don't know why i don't know why i got this one i i thought i checked it the other day but apparently i didn't it's uh not in good shape that sucks how's the wizard of lies Pretty good, fine. Anyway, you win some, you lose some. Um, okay, two bucks. Today I got Seven Days in May. This sounds like an interesting one. This is a uh, Warner Archive collection directed by John Frankenheimer. And it, uh, the screenplay was by Rod Serling. So this was a cool find actually. It's on like a DVD-R, DVD-R, which doesn't have scratches, so that's cool. Harlem Nights, what was I thinking with that? What was I thinking? And then, Ben Stiller in Permanent Midnight. I am a Ben Stiller fan. I enjoy Ben Stiller. Elizabeth Hurley and Janine Garofalo are also in that one. That is still sealed. 
Another one still sealed. This one I actually want to watch like pretty soon. Looks like a good one. What is that stuff on it? Uh, the Woods here on DVD. Looks like a fun. I like these school ones, especially when it's got some horror stuff, some, some weird stuff. Uh, Bruce Campbell's in this. Cool, man. Bruce Campbell. Bruce, it doesn't seem like he's in that many movies. Also at the $2 price point, we have a uh, Neil Jordan film with Robert Downey Jr. in Dreams. I don't know if I even want to look at this. PMAC's been making some mistakes on discs. This one's in pretty good shape. Uh, I don't know if that's it. Just some, some small little marks. But again, this looks like a cool movie. Neil Jordan directed The Crying Game. He directed uh, what that vampire movie, Interview with the Vampire. Um, don't know, I don't know too much about this movie, but it looks pretty interesting, kind of like a horror thriller type of thing. Um, and the, the title, the original title of Interview with the Vampire was Interview with a Van with a Vampire, but um, people say that the Mandela effect actually changed the title of the movie to Interview with the Vampire, which doesn't even make any sense because there there's multiple vampires in the world so it would just be interview with a vampire so some people actually remember the original title of the movie being interview with a vampire but then as our reality shifted the mandela effect people would say it changed to interview with the vampire and there's a lot of stuff like that in movies too um with the mandela effect forrest gump uh, Star Wars, there's a bunch of stuff where your memory of the movie might actually not be what was said in the movie. Crazy, Mandela Effect. Look it up. Um, this four pack, I got four film thrillers. Four film thrillers here. And this is the one I ordered the crush the same day I found the crush. And uh, I don't, you know, like I don't know how good the quality is, but it does say it's in widescreen. The only one out of these that I don't own then is Michael Keaton on Batman in Pacific Heights. I do have Diabolik uh, and Copycat I actually have on Blu-ray. So th this would have been a cool one if I didn't already have, you know, most of the movies. But Pacific Heights um, actually does have a Blu-ray, but it's pretty pricey. So got that one for two bucks, only two bucks. Another one for two dollars. Leonardo DiCaprio, oh yeah, he's sexy. And uh, The Beach. I actually think Leonardo DiCaprio is kind of weird looking, but uh, this disc is close to mint. And I did not have this movie. I remember seeing, this is another one I think I would see in that Walmart dump-ins for five, five fifty back in the day, but fix those up. Um, then I got another Eddie Murphy one called... The Golden Child. This one I think I looked at and wasn't scratched. Let's hope. Yeah, this one is that. This one's great. The Golden Child. I've never seen this movie, so I had some more Eddie Murphy to the collection. And then another Warner Archive one. Tom Berenger and the Avenging Angel here. Another uh, DVD R. Uh, this was as a T uh, TNT movie apparently. Um, they had a bunch of those back in the day, like TNT Westerns with Tom Selleck and Sam Elliott, maybe, and stuff like that. Let's take a look at the $3 Goodwill snags. I snagged up... Annie! Um, this, this looks like something I have really no interest in, but it came with, like, a working digital code and stuff, so I can pretty much uh, get my money back on it. Uh, I, I don't know. Annie. Slippy! It has a Slippy. And actually, Sony Slippies, you get those with, like, the first pressing, and, th and then they're hard to come by. So I'm sure this Annie slipcover is worth at least 25 cent. Um, 25 cent. The Little Mermaid. I do already have this movie, but um, this one, I think it was in good condition, and it had a working digital code. So for $3, I'll beer myself. They also had Beauty and the Beast, the Diamond Edition, with a nice, beautiful... Slip cover, uh, the disc, one of the discs was scratched up and the digital, there's no digital code. Um, so I didn't get that one. And then they had like, uh, Bambi and they had Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty, like, uh, it was kind of beat up. Uh, I don't, I actually don't know if I have Sleeping Beauty. 
Um, but like the artwork was beat up. I ain't gonna pay three dollars for that shit. Um, and then I got a TV show called Rain here, season one. This is a um, what is that ch that channel? CW. This is a CW show that I believe lasted three seasons. This was actually still sealed when I bought it for three bucks. Bear me. And then I got The Americans here for $3. And these uh, discs, I believe, were in mint condition. That's an interesting picture there to have on the back. Like, wh why, why include that particular screenshot? I, I don't know. The Americans here, season one. And then, this was the find of the week at Goodwill. The find. I've been wanting to get this show. And even during deals where you can get like buy two, get one, or you can get like a 40% off at Barnes & Noble, this show has been expensive. I don't think I've ever seen it for less than $20 after discounts and stuff like that. But I found season one for only $4.99. It is dark matter season one i was happy with this find i saw it i grabbed it i said get away from me people were fighting it out of my hands no actually i was the only one there um 560 minutes three discs 13 episodes i like me some sci-fi and and uh, you know this is a funimation one so this doesn't really drop in price something i i believe it's going to be very rare to find used um and uh, to be able to find for a decent price. So it looks like a fun show. I've heard good things about it. Dark Matter, season one, five bucks. And then I got the Jane Austen collection here. This was a Monday snag, five bucks. It's got a bunch of BBC miniseries. So it's got like Sense and Sensibility, Emma, Mansfield Park, Persuasion, Pride and Prejudice, North Anger Abbey. This is... Uh, about 22 hours of your best entertainment. Um, yeah, these are all, like I have Sense and Sensibility, the mainstream movie, but this is a different one. And then like Pride and Pred, actually it says Pride and Prejudice. What the shit? Pride, Pride and Prejudice. That. They must have changed the uh, title. No, that's, a, that's a, a typo. You'd think they would see that, but I was reading on Amazon too. Some of these discs, people were having trouble with some of these discs, like they weren't working properly. Um, but I mean, I got like six. These, some of these are mini series. Some of them are like regular 90 minute movies for, um, for five bucks. So that's a beer me. Like if you take a look at these, like Sense and Sensibility here, um, 174 minutes, Emma. 270 minutes. North Hanger Abbey is 90 minutes. Pride and Pride and Prejudice apparently 265 minutes. Persuasion 225 and then 312 for Mansfield Park. So you you're getting you're getting quite a bit of bang for buck. Hopefully these all play. Uh, me and Charmy do like enjoy watching these sort of things. We tend to um so that was a nice one for a, for a good price. And I think finally, finally he's done. Finally he's done. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do enjoy my videos, please hit the like button, the thumbs up. And um, if you do enjoy my videos, you want to help out the channel, help support um, what I'm doing here, keep the videos coming. Take a look at the description section for ways that you can help out the channel. It is very much appreciated. Your viewing the video is very much appreciated. You commenting on the videos is very much appreciated. You're appreciated here on PMAC Movies. You're appreciated. Happy Valentine's. Why do I keep doing... That's my new thing. Um, I'm going to send out a Valentine to each and every PMAC Movies viewer. That's a promise. Just kidding. Um, I ain't doing that. Uh, so that is it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got some entertainment out of the video. And as always, who's down to PMAC movies? Huh?